Hello everyone, and sorry I'm a little late. It's a lot to coordinate uh, all these dogs we've got going on here. Um, Bristol and I are uh, excited to be back today. Uh, we've got some good things uh, to talk about. We've got a really delicious recipe that's from our Seasons Best. This is the Seasons Best from last summer. Uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Seasons Best in just a minute. Uh, I just want to see if anybody pops on because Bristol and I want to introduce Charlotte to everyone, don't we? Do we want to introduce Baby Shar Shar? Bristol says not really. Um, she's like a little piranha to him. So anyhow, I'm just going to see if anybody pops on. Anybody coming? Um, hang on. One minute. Bristol, stay. working because we all know how great Facebook is um, let me just see if it's working and if it is that's great if it's not that's we're going to start over again oh okay I am live which is good I can see myself live so Maybe everybody's just not here yet, and that's okay as well. It is the summer, and speaking of summer, Bristol and I are going to do this live today, and then we're going to take the rest of August off. Um, we've got some big things happening in the fall, and we are actually going to take that time to kind of regroup and figure uh, things out. But... Uh, we will be doing periodical live or periodic lives and um, doing some things that to get ready for the fall uh, and I wanted to introduce you all to Charlotte so this is Bristol's baby sister who he right now is not a huge fan of uh, she's got little sharp needle teeth as anybody who has puppies know uh, kittens as well they've got little needles for teeth um, and so Charlotte is absolutely um, a little piranha to her brother. She's a little tired right, right now. Um, but I wanted to introduce everybody to Charlotte. And she's going to be part of our Talbot, Team Talbot. Uh, she'll probably be making some periodic visits as well to our lives. Um, and um, she is quite the addition to our Dr. Doolittle household that we've got going on right now. So, Bristol and I are going to start our recipe, and I'm just going to hand Charlotte off for her nap. Okay. You can put her this way. You can just put her in her bed and put the cage over. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to do a recipe today from the Seasons Best last summer. Um, I absolutely love Seasons Best. Um, and obviously, they do our things are in season. Obviously, just because of that doesn't mean we necessarily have to. Uh, I've got a few copies of my own that I keep. Um, I did want to mention that on Sunday, anybody who does live in the area on Sunday from 12 to 4, right in my backyard, we are going to be doing a little vendor event and there's a few of us gathering together. All um, COVID protocol will be followed um, and we will all be socially distanced. And I personally have a bunch of stock that I'm getting rid of. Uh, and I've got some Seasons Best as well. Uh, these make really cute little gifts that you can just tuck and, and um, you know give as gifts instead of gift card or instead of um, cards. You can toss in one of these. They're amazing. They're going to be on sale for uh, I don't know probably a buck, buck and a half. Uh, and I've got loads of them, and uh, I've got quite a few, what quite a bit of stock that I'm looking to get rid of as well. So. Without further ado, this is a recipe that I absolutely love. Um, I actually make it more in the winter time versus the summer, even though it is considered a, um, it's, it was in the season's best last summer. There's Bristol helping himself to snacks. Um, and it is a, okay, you 
don't need to be on the counter. It is a um, pork lime, sorry, chili lime pork, but it's a charred corn salad. And I'm actually just gonna be doing right now the, uh, the corn charred salad because I absolutely love this. So I make this salad per se uh, often throughout the year. Um, and then what I do is I add it to fish, to pork, uh, I put it on top of burgers. We use it as a salad topping because of the, the seasoning is so great. Uh, I actually personally don't do a lot of salad dressings. I add uh, spicy sauce like a buffalo or hotter to my salads. And so I find this is a great addition uh, to that. So it starts off with the cast iron. So I've got the cast iron pan here. I am going to attach this recipe. Uh, so for again, anybody who doesn't have last year's season's best, it's, uh, it's again, one of those really great recipes. So I'm just going to uh, start off by getting the veggies and stuff prepared. So what we're going to do is it comes, it is with corn. So anybody not have the corn, 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 oh my God, corn, kernel cutter, try saying that sucker three times, because um, this is a really great addition. Can you not eat the corn, please? This is for the salad. No, the corn is not for you. Um, so what I love about it is it's got the little teeth there, it can cut off, but these little edges are actually meant to be used when you are peeling your corn, and you would just take and you would put the, the, the little doodads that are on either side, you can just put them right outside of the corn itself uh, before you haul it and it helps, it helps with that. So I'm just gonna push down and it just takes the corn off the cob very easily, very cleanly. This corn was prepared in my quick cooker. So that's Pampered Chef's version of an Instant Pot. So for those of you who do have an Instant Pot, not sure if you are doing your corn, uh, your corn on the cob in your Instant Pot or Quick Cooker, if you don't have one, I just wanna let you know that this month is a sales month, 25% off the air fryer, the Quick Cooker, the heated cooking blender, and the grill. If you have thought about either of those four, now is the time and i also have an opportunity where you can host a party and get it at a bigger discount or if you don't want to host a party and you want it at 25 percent off i have an additional right now 12 and a half percent off and that's a deal that i have going on right now with a shared rewards party again a lot of things i love to save people money it's my favorite thing but if you don't have an instant pot it's the time to think about it if you do have one, you just cook your corn on the cob two minutes. Your corn on the cob is two minutes and I can put up to nine cobs in mine. I'm sure those with an Instant Pot the same size could do the same thing. So this corn was prepared yesterday. I am just using, for those of you who just joined, the kernel cutter and I'm just taking all the corn off these cobs Yes, it's been pre-cooked. We had corn last night. And I'm just prepping all the veggies. This is a really delicious, um, hearty salad topping, or like I said, meant to be grilled, uh, or sorry, meant to be used uh, with pork chops. I've used it for burgers, and I absolutely love it with fish. So we've got the corn there that we've just taken right off the cob. It's so easy to do, it's great. I am going to cut up a bell pepper. I'm just gonna to top off. I am going to be using my favorite knife, the Santuco knife. I'm just gonna slice that and clean that out. For those of you who are not new to, to my page, you know how much I absolutely love the Santuco knife. One of my favorites lifetime guarantee i love that the blade goes all the way to the end so it's a great slice i'm just going to slice that there because we're actually going to use the rapid prep mandolin today and we're going to cut up the zucchini and the red peppers and we're going to prep all of that we're going to add a little bit of the chili lime seasoning and that's it there's not a whole lot of fuss or must to this and that's what I love about it, is that I can leave it in the fridge and when I wanna reheat it or cook something like fish, 
even in my air fryer. I can do it in the air fryer and then put this on top. It's delicious. You can add or omit vegetables. I've done, if I've got mushrooms going, I toss mushrooms in this. It's amazing and very simple. But the key ingredient here is the corn. I love the corn in it. You can use frozen corn. So if you, you know, over the winter time, you don't have any fresh corn, use whatever you've got. Um, I am on all about how I can reuse whatever is going on in my fridge. So if I do have some uh, products, veggies, for example, that are going, I will toss whatever. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of oil in the bottom of my cast iron. Now this is the 10 inch cast iron. Uh, we have cast iron in both 10 and 12 inch, which is the regular version. I also have the uh, glazed version of it, the enameled, as they say, the enameled cast iron. Um, and that as well can be used. Uh, and those of us who are iron deficient, it's fabulous to be able to use whatever we've got. So I have a zucchini here that was on its way out. So I'm just gonna use as much of the zucchini that I can, obviously not this end, but I'm using whatever I can. Again, getting rid of what is in my fridge. This recipe is delicious. And like I said, super easy to use. So I've got the Rapid Prep Mandolin, which was one of our newer products for the spring. I'm just gonna put the zucchini in. Now I have already set it up. Um, it's a great thickness for the zucchini. You can see there. Now if you want it a little bit thicker, I can even change that and make it a little bit thicker. And again, super thin. And I also can make it into chips if I wanted to. Look at how fast and easy that is. This was one of the questions I had from a customer yesterday, which was how fast can I do it? How often can I do things? And it's fabulous because, um, again, I've got those zucchinis done, almost two whole zucchinis. I'm going to put the peppers. And um, I'm just gonna cut. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the green pepper, and I would like that sliced. So now I'm gonna change the blade on the rapid prep, and I'm gonna show you there. Again, didn't have to change anything, but simply just able to cut what I've got going on here. And it doesn't necessarily have to even be a red pepper. I just so happen to have it. There's the slices there. Like I said, so we've got the peppers, the zucchini. I've got an onion. I'm going to throw an onion in. Same thing. I'm just going to peel this back. And this is what I had in my fridge, which is awesome. Like I said, this is so good. Tonight we're having kind of a mishmash dinner. I've got some leftover ground beef from hamburgers. So I'm more than likely doing hamburgers. We're not gonna do a bun. We're gonna put that over top of it. Um, love the fact that even though it's hot out, I can still have a cool kind of salad-like dinner. I've got all my veggies cut up there. So I've got my zucchini, my onions, and my peppers. I've got my corn sitting there. And now we've got the cast iron just with the oil on the bottom. Very first thing that we want to do is we want to cook the onions and the peppers in the skillet for about four minutes. So I'm gonna take the onions and the peppers. I'm gonna sprinkle some of our chili lime seasoning. Now, if you don't have Pamper Chef chili lime, uh, that's okay too, because I believe Epicure came back out with theirs. They didn't have it for the longest time, but I believe they did. So any, anybody with uh, an Epicure fan out there, Stacy, Sam, or if you don't have an Epicure consultant, 
let me know. Let me introduce you to Samantha in Calgary or to my friend and yours here in Guildwood, Stacy. Um, and both of them or either one of them could totally hook you up with some amazing chili lime. If you don't and you want the pampered chef version, it's amazing. I put it on top of um, popcorn. It's so good. So I'm just sprinkling probably about a teaspoon for now. And I'm just going to grill these onions and the peppers until they get a little bit mushy. Okay? So I've preheated the skillet so they're coming nicely. Smells so great. I think uh, Charlotte has already passed out, which has allowed Bristol now to have a moment to just breathe. She's, she's a bit much for him. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the zucchini out here for a second and toss in the peppers and the onions. Okay. There we go. We're also this afternoon, and I'll be posting about it, I'm gonna post the recipe as well to a banana bread that I absolutely love. Today was clean the fridge out day. Um, our garbage pickup is on Friday. We've got a lot of things happening. We've been kind of in and out between funerals and such that we've had to go to that um, I haven't actually done a proper clean. So today I wanted to kind of go through, figure out what I had and what was left. And that's why today is kind of a leftover day where I've got the zucchini that was on its way out. I've always got an onion in. I'm gonna about to crush a garlic. I've got the leftover ground beef that I took out of the freezer because it's been sitting in the freezer. It's time to do that. So I'm gonna barbecue the hamburgers and I'm gonna put this on top of it. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese. It's amazing. In my blender right now, let me show you what I've got going on there. I've just peeled a bunch of dead bananas and I've got an entire container there, you can see, of bananas that I took out of the freezer. Again, we've got to use them. It's a beautiful sunny day out, I realize, but sometimes it's just about baking and getting rid of some things that we've got going on. So. We are going to be making some banana bread this afternoon. Uh, great opportunity to get rid of something. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm going to crush a little bit of garlic, which, whew, there it is. We've got the garlic going on here. So I'm just going to take some garlic and I'm just going to smash that garlic up there. Excellent. One of our little paring knives. I'm gonna do one more clove of garlic because we love garlic here at our house. So like I said, we've got probably a teaspoon of chili lime. You can add more or less depending. Um, the garlic with the chili lime just accentuates the, uh, the, the different seasonings happening here. So while that's going, I'm now going to add the zucchini, and it calls for a tomato that we would cut in half. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some, again, I have a whole container uh, of the cherry tomatoes. So I'm actually just gonna use cherry tomatoes, uh, and I'm not gonna bother to slice them because I don't think I need to, and I like when the tomatoes kind of get soft. I think it's a delicious flavor. And with this recipe, I kind of want everything to be kind of in a, and I hate to say this word, kind of a mushy state, but because I use it a lot of times for a salad topping, uh, it's the way that I like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil, just a tiny bit, again, probably about a tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna turn the heat up, and I'm gonna add a little bit more chili lime to this. And we've got two cloves of garlic going on. And we're gonna give that a minute and then we're gonna add the tomatoes. So I could have used, and I probably should have now that I'm looking at it, I probably, I probably should have used the 12 inch skillet 
would have had more space, but that's all right. Okay. I'm going to add the corn almost last. Because the corn is already pre-cooked, I don't really have to worry about cooking the corn again. But you can see here how the zucchini is starting to take on the coloring from the bottom of the skillet as well with the coloring of the onions. I'm going to toss in some tomatoes, about a handful of tomatoes, probably don't need the tomato stem. There we go. Got our tomatoes going on there. And again, this recipe, and I will attach it from the season's best last year, calls for pork chops. Um, I love this recipe with fish. This is one of my ultimate favorites with fish. I do the entire dish in here. The fish goes in and then the veggies go in and I use the bigger of the sizes of the cast iron. I find it incredible. Um, it's again, the chili and the lime together is beautiful. So I'm just going to add the corn there that I peeled. For those of you that just popped on, I peeled it with our kernel corn cutter, which is awesome. And you can see this gorgeous summer dish coming together, this gorgeous salad. Again, I will post the recipe showing you how simple and easy it is. If you don't have fresh corn, oh my God, again, I put the stem in. Uh, if you don't have fresh corn, that's okay too. Use corn, uh, frozen corn. Right now with corn being in season, I am all about what else can I do with my corn, especially if we've got some left over. Um, all about how we can reuse it. So I've got this amazing, easy, lunchtime salad that tonight we're going to top on top of a hamburger without a bun or you can top it on top of the salad or your fish or use it as a side it's one of those simple easy summertime meals that you could cook on the barbecue or right here on the stove top it's easy it's delicious if you've got other vegetables in your fridge that are about to go add it in, but let me tell you, adding the corn to it is, in my opinion, a key ingredient with the chili lime seasoning. It is what is for dinner tonight on a Wednesday. I will post this for you, can't wait. Um, like I said, it is the chili lime pork corn salad, delicious, full of veggies, full of goodness, Full of summertime. Today we use the garlic press, the kernel corn cutter, which I put. We use the kernel corn cutter. We use the rapid prep mandolin. We used, of course, we did the Santuco knife. And I do have the flexible cutting mats. Special seasoning today, the chili lime. It is awesome. It's incredible. I hope to see some of you this Sunday from 12 to 4. Jill from Fifth Avenue will be here. Claire from uh, 31 with her beautiful bags will be here. Tammy will be here with her gorgeous cards. Nikki will be here with her leggings. And we do have a few things from Epicure as well. And we're excited to see some people if they are out and about. So that's from 12 to 4. I'm going to have some great sales going on because I need to get rid of some stock. I've got my new stuff that came in from conference, which I am so excited to share with you all next month. And I'm getting ready. I got to get stuff ready. So I'm going to take the next couple weeks off, but I will see you in September when life goes back. We'll reconvig and redo some great recipes together come September. Um, you will see me, obviously. I will be going live periodically. Um, but for now, we're going to stop the um, lives on, on Wednesday until September. But I love how delicious this recipe is. Let me show you quickly before we log off. I'm going to take our oven mitts because, as you all know, the cast iron is super hot. Beautiful, beautiful salad going on today. 
warm salad. This is great, like I said, on top of lettuce with a little spicy sauce. It's what's for dinner today on Wednesday. Hope everybody has a great day and we will see you all soon.